Well, hello there and welcome to Novella Sims. I'm Novi and believe it or not, you're watching The Pearson Legacy episode 21. Oh my gosh, two months later. Um, thank you guys so much for being patient with me. My goodness, a lot has been going on and I can't wait to catch you up on everything much for sticking around um i definitely need to get the pearson legacy done so we are gonna catch up with the whole family oh i never get sick of the lighting mod by the way look how beautiful the sky looks right now but we are gonna catch up with our family i don't know about you but i have missed these guys so freaking much i did actually try and record this episode the other day but my head just was not in the right headspace at all um, I've already queued up some actions uh, for Angela and for Christopher. They're still sleeping, but Brienne has woken up um, and we'll be kicking off the day. So just to give you guys a full run on where I've been, um, I think my last video I passed is I posted in October. Um, I think I might have mentioned that I was actually traveling as well. So I traveled, um, I went on holiday with my husband. He actually broke his leg on holiday. <laughs> so it was a complete nightmare. When we came back, um, we were still doing our, our building works. Our building works actually went on till December. We had builders in the house seven days a week. Um, and so there was just literally no time um, to do the recording. So they were here right up until Christmas. And then, so we didn't even have Christmas here. Oh, Brienne, she started. She started with her craziness. Give me a chance, girl, give me a chance. Let me talk. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I was coming to this, but yesterday is Blake's birthday and it's Brienne's birthday. So we're definitely throwing a party for our Pearson twins. I literally cannot wait. It's been great playing with the toddler stage. Um, but like I was saying, we had Christmas with my family. We couldn't even have it at home. Then I traveled. I went on a holiday for another friend's wedding, um, which was amazing. But when I came back, I was super sick. And when I say sick, like coronavirus sick for two weeks. I did not get the coronavirus, but it felt like it that's all i have to say um and then after that i bought planet zoo which is a really big mistake because that game is super duper addictive um and so that kind of took away some sim time but don't worry guys i am back on the grind and i'm on a mission to make sure we finish generation one at least because i started this right, right back in 2018 so we have a lot to do. I'm just gonna fast forward through so these guys can actually wake up. I know that Brienne is in a right mood, but like our little girl just needs to wait. Okay, so, so Erin Kennedy has been pretty busy and doesn't have time to cook. So let's prepare a nice group meal and bring it to Erin Kennedy before time runs out. I think Christopher would love to do that. He l really likes Erin and Erin has the biggest crush on him. So it makes sense that she would ask him to help her out a little bit. So like I was saying, to recap the previous episode, our man of the house, Christopher, has actually gone ahead and started his own fishmonger's business. There's a new stall on the beachfront, which is really made to support um, the fishermen of the local community. And so he's definitely picked up shop there um, from time to time. So really excited for him and following his dream. And Angela, she really wanted to repair her friendship with Jamie, but Jamie literally slammed the door in our face and said, uh, uh we are done. So that friendship is dead and buried. And I have a feeling that Angela's feeling very, very salty about it. I think Jamie's definitely gonna become our nemesis and she's gonna be our enemy number one. So that's what we need to do to make sure we complete generation one. Um, in the meantime, even though Angela lost a friend, she did make a new friend in Victoria Andrews. So that's one thing. Oh, has your thing gone off? Yeah, it has. Whoopsie. Uh, before you then, you go and take care of him because I know... Mm, actually, have you got enough hunk? Yeah, I think you can actually go and take care of him. So I think that pretty much sums it up for Angela. She is on the grind. We definitely want to get, she got a promotion in the last episode, I think. So we need to push really, really hard to get to level five and then we can pick a new career. So I'm so, so excited. It's going to be the third career that we've done in this series. We have to do one more and then we will have completed her lifetime wish. So I cannot wait. Oh, right. I can breathe. <laughs> there was a lot to get out in such a short space of time. Okay, uh, what are you doing, Angela? I thought you were gonna feed. Oh, you're so hungry that you, yeah, you're kind of like, hold on, is that? Hmm, that's gonna go off in like literally two minutes, but can you at least get a bite? Nope, you cannot get a bite, it's gone. <laughs> 
Oh, no one gave you food? Oh my gosh, there is so much going on. You know what? As much as I've enjoyed, like toddlers have been so demanding. Um, so yeah, give baby food quickly before she goes and tends to Brienne. This is the last time we'll be tending to them as uh, toddlers. So it is kind of super cute and I will just take the time to do it and look after our little toddlers. Sorry if my mouse goes the wrong way. I blame Planet Zoo because it has like the, opera, the opposite uh, mouse, uh, oh, what do you call it? Mouse directions, whatever it is. Who's complaining? Oh my god, can you hear that? It's quiet. The babies have stopped crying. Dude, were you not cooking? Oh god, I've forgotten that Christopher has developed a little problem. Come on, I said. Serve breakfast, please. And then... going in the wrong direction so Angela serve oh could you actually wait you tell me oh okay you need a food processor this is something I did not do so I'm gonna try and remember this for when I install generations but you can actually process your normal food and turn it into baby food oh wow okay all right please give her some food so she can keep quiet for two minutes I'd really appreciate it thank you Oh, mate, I'll tell you what, their whining is something I'm not going to miss <laughs> when they finally grow up today. Uh, what do you need? You need a bath. Angela, do you mind? No, you're too hungry, so you do mind. Well, you know what? While your children are whining, the things that you do for your kids, right? Go ahead and plan their birthday party. We're gonna throw a party today. Okay, the party's gonna start. Mm, we still got certain things to do. So I think it's actually gonna start quite late, maybe at like five. It's going to be obviously casual attire. We'll invite the Andrews. Uh, who else we like? Who's our friends? Cornelia Goth is good friends with um, Angela and of course Jeffrey. And if Jeffrey comes, you know Malcolm has to come to be his fling man. Um, who else do we know? We can invite Gunther Goth just to be kind because Cornelia is coming, and you know, all people love kids, so sure. <laughs> Baby Heart is our neighbour. She's probably going to gate crash. We are not inviting Jamie. Definitely not. I love how she's Christopher's acquaintance now. Wait, is she an elder? Does she age? Oh no, adult. Sorry. Erin is going to come because she always gate crashes and has the biggest crush on Christopher anyway. So yeah, I think that's fine. It's the usual crowd. The party's going to start at five and really, Gunther, really... Think Angela, just while you're waiting on your breakfast, just go and take out, um, let Blake out, and then just go and have a shower or something, just so you can get ready for the party. Oh no, I think the stove is glitched. He's cooked twice and it's not coming through. Oh, Sims 3. Okay, and now, now we've, we've run out of eggs. Can you make anything on your grill? Fish and chips, yes, go for it. Make some fish and chips. This is the last time. I know, I know, and Christopher's working on it. I don't know about you, but I really, really love it when a guy knows how to cook and pre prepare for the family. It's so sweet. So it's so nice to see Christopher doing this. He was very serious. 
What is little Blake doing? You just see him running around with his smelly bum bum. Where are you? Oh, he's going to play with a toy. Can you use the potty? Oh, you have not been potty trained yet, have you? Oh dear. He is going to get a trait that we were not ready for. So sorry, Blake. We've let you down. Is Angela almost in a better mood? And hopefully Christopher would have finished making the fish and chips. Even though I've never seen fish and chips made on a grill, FYI. Mm, well, barbecue grill, I should say. Actually, that's a lie. I have, I have seen it done. I think, Aja, can you come and let Brienne out? Jess, let her out. Oh, she's thinking about her job. Uh, oh, and Christopher's just improved his cooking skill to level four, so <gasps> he can now make sushi. Oh my God, I actually love sushi and spaghetti. Who doesn't love spaghetti? Um, why don't you, Angela, once you've let Brienne out, come and get something to eat. Yes, I know, you're super hungry. And you can go and see if perhaps just before the party, you can potty train uh, Blake. Maybe there's still a chance for him. You know, you should never give up on your children, guys, FYI. Oh God, sorry for the camera angles, guys. It, it's Planet Zoo, it's completely messed up how I, I play the game. So I'm gonna let Angela, uh, actually, we're gonna leave this out. Maybe when our guests come, I hope it's still okay. We can call our guests to, actually no, there's gonna be cake. Oof, okay, the party's starting. Let's do something to celebrate. Let's decorate the house a little bit. Okay guys, so I've just done a little setup for the twins. Just got their birthday cake out with some balloons. There's a little candy floss machine over the side here for any of our guests who want to get a sweet treat. And I've moved the music system. Oh my gosh. I've moved the music system outside. I really want this to be an outdoor affair so people aren't really stuck in the house. Um, so that's the way I sort of done it. There are some balloons at the very front entrance though, just to let everybody know that yes, our toddlers, oh my God, the camera, I'm so sorry. Like literally my camera control is so terrible right now. But some balloons just to say, yes, this is where the toddlers are having their birthday party. And I've obviously, car oh, I've obviously carried on the same color scheme that we sort of had in the bedroom. I don't know what I'm going to do with their bedroom now. Um, I still need to add the money that we are owed. And so I'll probably try and do that later when we sort of maybe try and do a room decoration for the kids. So not long, I'm sure our first guests are gonna arrive shortly. So Angela's literally <laughs> doing some last minute cleaning. Of course, it's gonna be lastminute.com. Our maid, our maid should have left at four, but left early and still didn't do everything. Like we still got food that's gone off, some rubbish that's come out from here. How far are we with Blake? Can we actually, can we actually do it? Like everything is so lastminute.com, literally. Um, Brienne's the only one just sort of chilling. Oh, she's gonna be tired quite soon. Oh, Blake, did you do it? No. Oh, well, go ahead and give him a bath, Christopher, please. Okay, Angela, are we almost done? Are we almost done? Are we ready for our guests? Where are you going? Okay, you pick him up in the corridor because you obviously can't pick him up in all this space, whatever. I keep hearing cars and wondering if our first guest has arrived. Come on quickly, Angela. I think that's the last thing you've got to do. I've just noticed as well, this is not the top I gave her. So I'm having some CC issues at the moment. Uh-oh, what broke? Of course, of course. And that's gonna annoy all of our guests. I did set the party for four, right? Or did I set it for five? Nope, for four. Here come our guests. <laughs> so Angela, you know what? I feel like Angela might, what could we change you to? I feel like, cause she's the mother of the kids, she's just gonna change into one of her formal wear outfits. Everyone else is coming in casual attire, but I don't like that top. So she's getting changed. And yes, our first party guests have started to arrive. Ooh, 
Thanks. Thank you very much both for bringing some food. I'm sure it's Victoria who cooked it, but it's all good. Um, let's go ahead and let's greet our guests. So she's just going to do a friendly introduction to everyone who's just arrived. And we won't take long. We'll go ahead and we'll age the kids straight away because we know that they can age up without the cake when it's their birthday. So they're going to make a joke about she's going to joke about work with Victoria. Dude, Thornton Wolf, we definitely didn't invite you. So we've got a party crasher. What, what are you doing, Christopher? Come on, put him down then, put him down. Maybe see if we can potty train him. Please do not glitch out. Oh, I love seeing Brienne walk. Look at her. Okay, Victoria's making drinks for everyone. Thank you, BB. She's turned the music on. Let's get the party started. <gasps> we did it, we did it. We put your train, Blake, and just in time to literally that sentence has never meant more than it does right now. Okay, good. Because Blake was actually the first twin. So let's go and let's, wait, can you just go and blow it out by yourself or is someone gonna come and pick you up? Okay. Mm. Blake, it's you, it's you, it's your birthday. Go shorty, it's your birthday. We're totally partying like it's your birthday. Come on Blake, yay! Victoria and Angela are catching up. <laughs> Jeffrey and Bo. Bo can be so inappropriate, so it's like, oh, so you're the dude that Christopher is really upset about, right? <laughs> And Jeffrey's like, I have no idea what you mean. Get out of this house. Okay, sorry, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> These guys are just really getting on, but come on everyone. Let's wish Blake a happy birthday. And Brienne, if you could bring yourself over here, that'd be great so you can be next. <gasps> pictures, 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 because I am terrible at this and you guys know it too. I literally cannot believe our little boy's growing up. I'm so excited. Come on, come on. Yay. Daddy's boy for sure. Wait, Angela, I thought I told you to get changed. Did you not get changed? Oh my God, seriously. Whatever, whatever. If you want to be casual mummy, then that's totally fine. Oh, yay. And look at little Brienne coming in the background. Yay. So let's just see him age up. Oh, look at him. He is too cute. <laughs> With crawling and cribs behind him, Blake has finally gotten onto his own two feet and become a child. Blake has lots of school and homework ahead of him, but if he studies hard and keeps his grade up, he will be well on his way to success due to your excellent parenting skills. Hashtag lastminute.com parenting. I can now choose a, a, a trait for Blake. So <laughs> um, what is he? He's got athletic from his mom. He got friendly from his dad. So this is something that's going to sum him up. So what will you be? I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to give him the genius trait. It sort of caught my eye and I can't really think of any other trait to give him. I really like, you know, he's athletic, he's friendly, he's genius, you know, he's really smart. He's kind of like the perfect boy at school or whatever. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and give it to him. Wait, can I give him more traits? No, I can't, okay, I don't know why, let me scroll. Um, so yeah, so Blake is a genius. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, long hair, don't care, is definitely back. No matter what we do, we always cut this boy's hair, but every time he ages up, he, he's got it. <laughs> he's got the long hair back. Oh, let's get a, a quick picture of him. Oh, how cute. Okay, so next up, it's Brienne's birthday. Let's do it, guys. 
Blake is literally so cute. I see a lot of his mum in him. I think he definitely took after his mum, even with like the long hair and his eyes, his nose, like he is his mum's features completely. Look at that. Look at that face. That is the face of a future heartbreaker. I'm telling you right now. Everyone is going ahead and grabbing some cake, but I hope they don't fill themselves up too much since we still have to do Brienne's birthday. Where is she? Angela is coming to get her. Everyone else is taking a little bit of Blake's cake. So Brienne gets the opportunity to actually age no, sorry, <laughs> Angela gets the opportunity to age up Brienne, so super happy about that. Look how excited Christopher looks in the background. Oh, I can't believe they're aging up, finally. So cute. Blow it out, blow. How cute. <laughs> Look at Bo. Oh my gosh. Wait, let me see if I can get a good view. Angela literally just wants to block my view and I'm not appreciating that right now. <laughs> but let's go down to Brienne's level. It's like she's saying bye toddler stage in life. I am not gonna be you anymore. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, she's so cute. Come on, Rian, let's age up. <gasps> yes. Whoop, that stretch thing. <laughs> and of course, the same again for Brienne. We wish her lots of success and we can now choose a new trait for her. So she's clumsy. She is a virtuoso. And I, I did see something like easily impressed. I think that will go well if you're clumsy, but you've got a mute. Actually, let me, let's double check. Yeah, I, I want to go easily impressed. I think she's someone who, oh, excitable. Like she's just a giddy person. They enjoy an extra dose of self-satisfaction when good things happen to them. Um, are astounded by stories and always pleased with the smallish of accomplishments. And I think, yeah, you know, Brienne's not gonna be the sharpest tool in the box. She is pretty much the opposite of her brother where she's she's not as smart as him, but she's got a really good spirit. So we'll leave it there. Let's get a good look at Brienne as well. She's looking up at her mum. She, I definitely think looks like her dad. She got, she got her dad's features. What a great party, I had a blast. Well, I'm really glad, Thornton, considering you weren't even invited. So thanks for coming. Yep, BB is all partied out. I think we're gonna have a great party. Did anyone get a great party wish? I think Angela did. Learn the recipe for fish and chips. Eh. Oh, what happened to, oh, did you glitch out? You lost all of your wishes. That is not good. Uh, maybe group up with BB. Yeah, these wishes are not happening. Sorry. Oh God, I can't believe we lost all your wishes. Oh my God, you need the loo. You need the loo. Quick. Need to run to the bathroom, Christopher, and maybe even go and take a shower while you're at it. And let's take a good look. Oh, Brienne is getting to know Jeffrey. I like that. She's like, hey, old dude. Thanks for coming to my party. <laughs> but I've got to give them a makeover. Oh, yeah. She is definitely her dad. You can just see that straight away. Yeah, these chairs, I think I pushed the thing too back with move, move objects. So they can't take a seat, but it's fine. Oh, you know what? I think all the wishes were about their kids. So I think we actually, did we get all of them? I don't know. I don't know. I remember him wanting to get the age up well because I noticed that Angela's is quite down as well. So toss Brienne in the air. Uh, I think we've passed that stage. Is Cornelia still allowing for you to chat to? Yeah, she is actually. So you can just go and ask about day. Can you? Where is she going? 
Yeah, she's going home, that's fine. So Christopher still is proud that Blake and Brienne obviously just became a child. Watching their pride and joy grow older is a wonderful memory for any parent. I'm sure it is. Who is this? Oh, Vita Alto. Vita Alto. We're at that same thing. She doesn't like Vita. Do you remember when she wanted to get with um, Leighton Sakimoto and Vita kept flirting with him? She's kind of like, just, just say goodbye. Can you just say goodbye? Ask to leave? Yeah. <laughs> Angela's bored. She doesn't really want to talk to you, so sorry. Angela holds a grudge, have you noticed? And look, look, we leave him alone for five minutes and he's back on the drink again. We're gonna have to sort this out. We might have to get rid of this bar if he keeps doing this, but hey ho. Um, what's Malcolm saying? Dance together. Okay. He's like, yeah, I just want to... Uh, Get to know you more, Angela. Since, you know, my dad speaks so highly of you. He has for quite a long while. Brienne, you're a child. I was going to say, I hope the first thing you... Oh, great, of course. The first thing you do as a child is break the toilet. Why don't you have a drink, Christopher? Have a drink. You you, you, you made it, so, so drink it. <laughs> and then you can ask Vita to leave. Nobody asked her to go. You can go. Thanks. Yeah, let's ask everyone to leave. We are all partied. It's 11 p.m. It's 11 p.m. These guys keep going to bed far, far, far too late. Angela's having a boogie down. Thanks. Yeah, so glad you're going. All right, guys. I would love to give our little twinsies some makeovers. I love how the first thing they've done is go for books. What book are you reading? Our little genius over here, Blake. You are reading, where's Bella? <laughs> oh, that is a really good question. And Brienne, what are you reading? The Warlock of Palladia. Okay. Oh, what was this? This is actually oh, deep fry candy bar. Oh, it's a shame you're full. I would totally make you eat that. I'll put this stuff in the fridge, but I think it will all go off quite quickly because they've been sitting out here for a while. But yeah, why not? Oh, pecan pie. I, do I like pecan pie? I actually can't remember. But this deep fried candy bar is pretty cool. Who was making something? Oh, somebody brought that. That's a fruit parfait. Okay. Thank God we have a maid. <laughs> He's going to have a lot of work for him when he comes tomorrow. Oh, poor Brienne is so tired. Brienne, don't you worry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know when you just... This is a meme in itself. I need to think of a really, really good phrase for this right now. She's like, dude, I am so freaking tired. Like, where's my bed? I'm so sorry, Brienne, because right now you guys still have cots in your room. <laughs> so I need to take care of this as soon as possible. I'm gonna probably just do it now off camera, but after I've given our little twinsies a makeover.
Okay guys, so we have given our twinsies their little makeovers. Oh my gosh, let me go ahead and stop the music right now quickly. Turn it off. Um, and Brienne is definitely tired. I've given them, oh, is she gonna go to the right bed? I've literally just done a very, very, I've taken out the, the baby things that were in the room. I've done a very quick, ish makeover i have no clue what is happening in this space to be completely honest with you i'm completely uninspired but we don't want this to be their permanent rooms anyway they shouldn't really have to share but sometimes in situations that's what it's like i remember sharing with my younger sister for such a long time so um i think it's gonna get to sleep as well angela's party was a modest success are you freaking kidding me it was fantastic what do you have to do to get a fantastic party honestly they were all so happy whatever modesty bite me um so blake is going to bed christopher's going to bed angela's going to bed oh everyone's in bed by like hopefully 1 a.m before the chaos kicks off again tomorrow morning and it's crazy because we've only got one bathroom with a broken toilet that brienne broke of dress remembered um so i'm gonna let them go ahead and sleep and i think i'm actually gonna end today's episode here i really really hope you enjoyed it i'm so glad to be back if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a like as it's such a huge encouragement to me and for the channel don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed and you'd like to follow the journey of this lovely family um and i think i will leave the pearson family here until next time guys bye